Real Action is brought to you by Pertec with 103 service and supply centres around Australia for all your hydraulic and industrial hose requirements. Hey, welcome to Real Action. Michael Guest, I've got Wayne Gordon, better known as Gordo, with me. It's blowing about 15 knots out of the southwest. It's cold, oh, we've it got is. the jackets on, <laughs> but it is snapper time. That's right. But there's no doubt about that. So, we're going to throw some soft plastics around. There's some really good structure just here behind us. There's a big island over there as well. Snapper loves structure, they also love soft plastics. I reckon that's going to be the way to catch them. Yep. Oh, it feels oh. like a nice fish, that yeah, one. It feels like a very good, looks like a good fish, mate. Yeah. Hasn't sort of woken up too much yet, Gordo. Oh, well, I'll just get the net in case he comes in quicker than expected. Yeah. Bumping his head around, and that's uh, that's what they do. They're such a good sport fish snapper. It's on this, uh, this sort of tackle. So much fun, and it's about those big long casts with your soft plastic and getting it in the zone in amongst the bait which we've got there on the is a lot of bait down there sand there at the moment and away we go oh, oh he's still got a bit left in him he has got a bit in him this fella feels like a nice fish and certainly the sun's not even up yet so right in that peak bite time right at the moment oh so good fish gordo this one yeah it looks not too bad at all i oh, got color there mate so Right Do you on. want to grab the net? Yep. Ooh. Oh, that's oh, a good snapper. That is a good snapper. That one there, get him in the net. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Awesome. Good looking fish, and an even better way to start the morning. Look at that. <laughs> Have a look behind us. You can see that sun coming up. As I said, it's just an absolute peak time to be chasing snapper. That's a paddle tail style lure that one there so they're always swimming down and it's a great thing about snapper soft plastic and you've got to be ready for that bite That's as it right. sinks haven't you because yep. that yep. lure is just swimming down through the bait schools which we've got here at the moment and there's the result if we just oh not him <laughs> you're, you're on fire i'm on fire <laughs> so what we've done is we've just driven back around and oh and uh, going back through that same drift, but so important with snapper, especially up over these shallow areas that you, um, that you apply a bit of stealth. So, oh, you're gonna use the electric motor and go right around, but in this wind, it's easier just to drive right around the reef and then come back in nice and quietly. And I can tell you. A bit of color, mate. Yeah, a little bit of color. Yeah. Pretty, pretty little fish. They didn't take oh, one. Oh no, you've done well. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Same law. Exact same law, actually. I haven't changed it. And then the, ne the very next cast. Look at that. Wow. I know you look at all those tropical reef species that you get and they've got those fantastic colours. I've got to tell you, our humble snapper, mate, they, they are pretty damn good. Yeah. Look at those blue dots, those, that blue makeup above the eyes. They're certainly a very, very pretty fish. Staying safer on the water has never been easier thanks to the Marine Rescue New South Wales app and it's free. All you need to do is tell us where you're going and when you'll be back and don't forget to log off. So take a couple of minutes to set up your profile, be smart, choose the tracking option so Marine Rescue knows where to start searching in an emergency. Logging on with Marine Rescue New South Wales means someone's watching out for you. Marine Rescue New South Wales volunteers saving lives on the water.
change things up a little bit now. I'm just put the electric motor in because where we're fishing is, is, is quite a sharp sort of pinnacle and it's probably, well, I want to say sharp, it, it's not a big area, 50 metres, maybe 60 metres and the bait's holding in this sort of 30 metre area. So what we've done is um, virtually electrically anchored so the nose is pointing straight into the breeze so we've got a good long cast we can get with the wind behind us and then we can just hop our way back because when we're drifting through you're sort of catching one fish fighting it and by the time you've got the fish there we've gone over the reef and we go all the way back around so this is a really good way to stay sort of just in that zone and try and get a few casts and maybe get one or two fish and then we can just move ourselves around and still have that sort of stealthy approach with the electric motor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's a better a good, one. That's a good fish. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Try and win the battle there, Gordo. Oh. So I've got slightly, a slightly heavier rod. This is a eight to 15 kilo rod with a three and a half thousand size spin reel, some 20 pound braid and 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Quite often, when the sun gets up, I'll go down to 20 pound if they're, if they're a bit slower on the bite. But this early one where you're sort of really looking for that bigger fish, tend to fish a shade heavier. And I can tell you, the sun's just about to sort of come up above the cloud. We're right in that witching hour at the moment. There's a low tide not far away. So A, we've got sunrise and that low tide's not far away as well. You can feel that fish slumping away down underneath. So the plan's worked with that parking with that electric motor and got a big long cast in and hopefully we're going to see a, a nice snapper come up not too far away. Come on bud. Oh here he comes. All right Gordo get the net under that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the upgrade that one. Oh it's worth getting up in the morning oh, for that. Look at that. That's Very the shot. Very solid fish. That's the shot and we're I don't know if you can hear that electric motor's holding us there. I love it when a plan comes yeah. together. <laughs> I thought we're drifting too fast. Let's see if we can't sit above it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so that's one I snapper with a big bump on his head. Look at his nose there. That's a cracker and such a good fight on that tackle. It is cold. It is cold and winter time for us in the mid-north coast of New South Wales is about catching fish like that. Great sport fish. We'll get a photo of him shortly and watch him swim off. But, but uh, man, they go Mate, well. They do. And you'll notice you're putting them big long casts in with that not westerly. You get yeah, bigger yeah. casts in with a lot more wind. Definitely, and I yep. think that's the secret is that long cast. And just be ready. Get that reel, click that reel into gear. Be ready as that as it's sinking. You've got to be ready to uh, to get the bite because these big fellas they sit pretty high in the water column this time of the day. That's another big thing. You'll see them up above the bait and fish that normally you look at and go, oh, is that maybe that's a small kingfish or something? It's not. It's snapper sitting really high in the water column in this low light period. Now that's a cracking catch. If you've been catching some ripper fish lately, then send your photo into our Alfabs Cracking Catch competition at the Real Action Facebook page. To get you hooked up every week, we're giving away a pen rod reel and line combo, an awesome Scanstrut Rock wireless phone charger and inflatable waist belts from BLA, along with some great gear from Valvoline to keep your marine engine and trailer lubricated. Oh, that hooks out. I'll tell you, that. That's a great way to start the morning, I've got to tell you. Yes, swam off like a champion. <laughs> Once you catch a couple of snappers, just check that leader. So I've got a loop knot there, so it's all good. No abrasion or bite marks in that, in that 30 pound fluorocarbon. My jig head certainly seen better days. There's some some big bite marks in there. It's a bit of a trophy jig head, that one now. Check your hook, it's nice and sharp. So we're good to go. So I don't want to talk about this for too long because I want to get another cast in. So one more left in this packet. These paddle tail style lures work so well. So get him out of the packet there. See, it's got that thumping tail action. Looks like a bait fish, like a real natural color. I'm a big fan of those natural colors. Make sure you line it up nice and straight. Put that one through, it's a quarter ounce jig head. Uh, if we fish a bit of deeper water later, I'll go to a 3.8 or even a half ounce, but at the moment, quarter ounce gives it that nice fluttering action. And look at that, and that's ready, ready to rock and roll, that one.
you got it. Yeah, mate. Yeah, got it. Just threw it hard up against that rock in there. It's a shot. We had a good start out. Something has absolutely grabbed it. it. Yes. We had a good start out, a bit wider, and and uh, just ducked out of the westerly wind, and just fishing a bit of structure here at the moment, trying to find a few snapper. And I reckon that's what Gordo's got. Well, it was that yeah. classic snapper bite. Yeah, it's definitely one, mate. See it bouncing around down there. Good work. Oh, all right, mate. It's a, it's a little trevally. Oh, I thought it was a snapper for sure. Yeah, it's just a little, a little bluefin trevally. Oh, I haven't seen one of these for ages, mate. Oh, that's, you're not counting that, Gordo. He's, he's hooked up the side. That's why I thought he was a bigger fish, mate. Pop that out of there. There you go. Show everyone what that looks like. It's not a big version, but... No, but some nice colours. Look at the blue colours in it. Yeah, look at that. Iridescent, purpley, blue, and pectoral fin. GTs get you know a massive thing, yep, 60, yep. 70 kilos, but but they're just a super, probably the prettiest Trevally. I reckon yeah. if there was like a, a runway model award for Trevally, this bloke <laughs> could win it every day. <laughs> Got him, mate. Hold well on. Oh, this man. feels. Oh, he's coming the to the game. surface. This thing. Oh. Oh, what is it? Oh, I'm not sure, mate. It's a wouldn't... little bit silvery looking yeah. to me. And you wouldn't know. Casting up against the rocks here, what it could be. It must be some sort of, maybe some sort of pelagic. Oh, it's a big tailor, mate. That's a big tailor, is it? Yeah, monster. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a horse. Yeah, he goes steady there, far yeah. out. Very nice fish. He, um, he must have been working along the rocks in there and chasing bait. Right, mate, he's a, that is a beauty. Oh, wow, look at yes. the size of that. Nice, Taylor. Look at that. <laughs> that is a feed income greenback. That's it a is, big mate. one. Yep. This goes to show you what you'll catch when you fish the structure. Yep. And, and um, obviously, not just snapper, but there's other fish that yeah. are sort of hanging in around those areas. But that is, and, oh, oh, that's a quad. And on the plastic too, mate, which yeah. is... I'll notice you've changed up to more of a bait fish. I won't put my fingers too close there. A bait fish profile, soft plastic. So he's looked at that and thought that's some sort of anchovy or pilchard. Yep. And just cracked it. Oh. Maybe he didn't bite you off. Mate, it was, uh, I've got a bit of 30 pound on there, which is. Yeah, just on the edge, I think. I think he'd still do you there. That's a beauty. Hold that up. Look at that. Off you go, mate. Oh. No, there he goes. Come on, mate. <laughs> Snapper fishing and you catch a flathead. You never know what's going to turn up. Look at that. Beautiful blue spot flatty. <laughs> what have you got, oh, son? Mate, I don't know. It's, it's something not too big, but oh, it's a nice Snapper. little panty. Yeah, nice little up. snapper. Beautiful. He's not too bad at all. Yeah. A little bump on his head. Yep. Just down there, the plastic, and just giving a jig straight off the bottom, a bit deeper water. Yeah, and that 35 metres, and the wind yeah. just suddenly died off. It was blowing pretty hard there before, so it's yeah. died off really nicely. Pretty little fish, that one. Well done, bud. Yep, no, nah, cheers. Michael Guest, a little bit of solo fast fishing this morning on the PWC. It's winter time. I've, I've rugged up, but that doesn't mean you can't get out and have a bit of a blast around. Great time to be on the water because it's really, really quiet. I'm, I'm the only one out there. I think I did see a guy in a tinny over here somewhere. So this morning, all about vibing. So I'm going to chase a flathead. Uh, there's all sorts of bycatch, big tailor in this system, mid-north coast of New South Wales, Mulloway, Brim. But I've got a couple of different types of vibes. It's a prawn style one. Also got a fish style one there as well. Fishing in that sort of eight to nine metres around bait schools. And that's a really good place to start. Got him. Oh, there we go. See ya. 
big school of bait underneath me there. And, and a few decent fish hanging around there. I'm not sure what I've got here. It's a nice size tailor, I think. And here, big fella. And they're just one of those fish that love a bait fish profile lure of any description. And he's just climbed on that. Good fun on the light tackle too, I must say. Pretty good fish to handle except for those sharp teeth. Give it a bit of a comfort cuddle there. Get it in nice and tight. There you go. There's a few more fish on the sounder. So they travel in big schools, Taylor. So they'll come up on the top and have a bit of a blast around. I've got a surface lure rig there if I do see that. Otherwise, I'll keep working, working that vibe. And so I can't find a flathead or, or something else underneath there, but it's a good way to start. Off you go, mate. All right. Well, I've seen there's plenty of activity happening here, birds buzzing around, and got that little tailor already. So I'm just gonna add a bit of, bit of secret sauce to my clear vibe. A little bit of scent can just make all the difference there at times. So rub that in, just on both sides, not too much. Just every probably 15 or 20 casts just a little bit and it can make the difference, especially fish like say a mulloway or a big flathead where, where they're having a look at it, they can see the action of the lure, they're keen, it looks great, the vibration's there and it smells good and they'll, they'll eat it. So I think that's really important. So when it comes to vibing, so let's fire a cast back out this way. Oh, a couple of birds just diving over there now. That sink down. And I'm in 10 metres of water and I, so I'll just catch up with that now. I want to say catch up with that line. I don't want loose line laying on the surface of the water. So I want to feel that. So that lure is swimming down. Those, those vibes are really good vibes like these ones. They swim down right through that water column, swimming down. And if you feel a little tick or a touch, because what will happen sometimes, a fish will be swimming along, it'll grab the vibe, and suddenly your sink rate, your sink rate stops like, like that. <laughs> Just like that. Amazing. So that that line just suddenly stops sinking. So that means a fish has got it in its mouth. And if I just let that loose line lay on the surface and I wasn't connected to it, I wouldn't have felt that bite. Well, there you go. And I think there was a couple of tailor buzzing around over there. I reckon this one might be a tailor. I've got to tell you, that's pretty much how that works. And oh, he's to brim. He's just appeared from underneath, underneath the PWC there. So look at that. So, so once again, oh, there's spiky characters to hang on to. Those demersal fish like brim and, and, uh, and mulloway and, and your flathead laying on the bottom are gonna be underneath. So just make sure you stay, um, stay in contact with that braid as it's sinking. That's cool. All right, I'll keep going. Taylor, brim, see if I can't find a nice flathead or, or you never know, one of the big silver fellas. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's pulling a bit of string, that fish and heading that way. <laughs> Three to five kilo rod that I'm using and, and uh, some, some, only some light braid, some eight pound braid and 15 pound leader. And this fish is just arcing right out around that way. It's a good fish, so I've just got to take my time. The net's ready there, nice soft hands, beautiful, beautiful little 2,500 or 2,500 size spin reel. And just got to let it do its work. Don't be in a big hurry. Some good show on the, Sounder there still. Oh, bit of a head shake. That's always a telltale sign. Oh, I've got a, got a bit of colour there. <laughs> looks like, it looks like the right fish. Let's get this net ready to go. And see how West is just breezing me along. Oh, it's a, it's a solid mull away, that one. Wow, what a cool looking fish. Got everything happening at the moment. We've got a, got a nice barometer. We've got a tide change happening right now. And that's the time all right, let's see if I can get this fella in the net. Yeah! <laughs> wow, that makes the cold early start all worthwhile. Oh, I'll just swing this fella over and we can have a look at him in the sunlight. Wow, I love it when a plan comes together. And it uh, doesn't always work out that way when you're fishing, as you know. And you've got to be ready to mix things up a little bit. And, uh, you know, you see some tailor bust up or some salmon, maybe switch to a, to a different style of fishing. But uh, look at that. I'll just... Have a look at that in the water there. Aren't they a glorious looking fish? I'll keep his head in the water. I'm gonna let this fish go in a minute. But uh, that, that little clear vibe just tucked in there. Had a plan, it worked, and there's the result. Look at that, that's a beautiful mull away. I gotta tell you, that is a cracking way 
to spend a morning out doing a bit of sport fishing. I kept working around those Taylor schools and I knew one of these blokes would be here somewhere. I'm sure he's not the only one. They travel in big schools mile away, but uh, I'm pretty damn happy with that. Off you go, bud. Go on, go on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Real action brought to you by Dog Pro Plus. Look after your best mate with a complete and balanced diet. Hyundai high performance forklifts, smart technology and safety, they're the driver's choice.